virology the study and science of viruses this is one field which helped all of us during the pandemic virology virology scientists vaccine design and development scientists both of them work very closely but when the covid pandemic came everybody understood that on one hand you cannot avoid the ma- human animal interaction and that will lead to a jump of viruses from animals to humans and that obviously means that scientists as well as as such as humanity we know only one probably 0.001% of the entire world of viruses science behind viruses and viral particles they are dead as well as alive they can create devastation in the lives of you and me alike viruses don't have any religion viruses are here to destroy humanity and as a biological researcher i'm sure you must be motivated to do your research in virologist so if you want to make a career in virology if you want to become a virologist then definitely you can go for a certification course which biotechnica has but today's video is all about how you can apply ai ml into virology so today's video we will divide into four or five parts the first part we will talk about the viral genome sequencing then we will talk about drug discovery and development based on ai ml for antivirals then we'll go for the viral diagnosis that is diagnostics and then fourth one we'll look at epidemiological surveillance using ai ml of viruses obviously and then we will look at the vaccine design and development and optimization of the antiviral vaccines using ai ml so this is going to be a really uh, exciting video and maybe slightly long but uh, bear with me while i unfold or unlock the secret mysteries behind viruses and also help you understand how you can use ai ml to progress in the world of virology and at the same time you can progress in your career also right so it's going to be a win win situation for you if you watch this video till the end right so to so start the video let me ask you a question have you ever thought that why a virus which infects the hepatitis or the liver cells like the hepatitis virus why doesn't it affect the respiratory cells right so there must be some methodology right because corona viruses don't impact the liver while the liver viruses also don't impact the respiratory cells there must be something right well there's so much more about viruses which we don't know well the simple answer to this obviously is the uh, receptors but yeah there is much more to that but just think about it what if you could use ai ml to unlock the secret mysteries of viruses and that's what we are going to talk about so quickly let's get started the first one will be viral genome sequencing and analysis now under this we will be able to do rapid and accurate identification of viruses how would we do that we will be developing algorithms artificial intelligence and machine learning is nothing but a simple x and y graph right machine learning is understanding the pattern and artificial intelligence is working on that pattern right so ai ml algorithm can be developed which can quickly analyze vast amount of genomic data right so for viruses we have genomic data so we will analyze that and then we will identify and the cl- and classify the viral strains now of course it will help us identify the novel or emerging viruses the other methods of for example which we have it's very slow but uh, using ai ml we can detect this so that is the first advantage we have with ai ml analyzing the vast amount of data of genomics the second one obviously will be now you must have seen during the covid pandemic that new 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 versions were coming every 3 months 6 months right now you have corona omicron the then you know different different types of uh, coronavirus uh, versions you must have seen like just like iphone versions it keeps coming right so how it was happening they were having evolution right so how would you track that evolution you need a tool so you can develop that tool using ai ml to trace the evolutionary pattern of viruses predicting potential mutations potential outbreaks and aiding in the development of proactive preventive measures across the world imagine you can save so many lives if you apply ai ml into this evolutionary pattern track the third will be obviously drug discovery and vaccine target identification we will use ai ml to identify the targets 
within the viral genome for the development of antiviral drugs and vaccines. So this is one uh, another applications of AI ML in our uh, virology. Now, the second part of the video we come to and that is drug discovery and develop. So, as you know, we already have so many drugs in the market, right? Like you must have seen during the coronavirus period, they were trying to use a particular drug which is for something else as a uh, repurposing it into an antiviral. So, how they were doing it? They were just trying to do it trial and error. But what if we could be sure that this particular me medicine will work for on a particular virus? Now, to be sure, we need accelerated drug screening. So, AI and machine learning models can be used to, to screen vast libraries of compounds, identifying potential antiviral drugs and significantly reducing the time and cost involved in drug discovery. So, we will be able to do it faster. We will be able to do it in an efficient manner because we already have a library of compounds who, which can be a potential antiviral drug. So, we already have that. We have to just quickly do the screening and identify. Now, the second will be optimizing. It's not that all the medicines will be off the shelf ready for an antiviral property. What if we could add some functional property to that? What if we could optimize it? So, using AI, we can predict how different drug candidates can interact with the viral protein, optimizing their design, optimizing their potential, and maximizing their efficacy. So that is where we can use the AI ML algorithm. Now followed by that, obviously, we can again personalize the treatment. You must have seen the, during COVID, some people got a higher dose and they expired, but they died because of that. Because every patient is unique. So if we can analyze the patient data, we can identify the most effective treatment options available for that particular person. He may be old person, new or a young person, we can tailor make the therapies according to the individual needs and that is where AI ML can be used. Now we come to the third part of the video where we'll talk about diagnostics and therapeutic application. Now the moment I'm going to say this, you all will remember the painful era where uh, to take a flight to a particular city, you were supposed to have a PCR report. Do you remember that? COVID reports you had to carry that you are not infected, right? Imagine if PCR was not there, QPCR was not there. You would not have got reports so fast. It would have taken 10 days, 15 days or 30 days to get one report, right? So we could use QPCR. Now, same thing if we apply AIML we can do early and accurate diagnosis. Now, AI-powered diagnostic tools can analyze medical images, lab results, and patient data to detect viral infections early and accurately improving patient outcomes. The next will be obviously predicting the disease progression. So now that we, we have detected, we will be able to predict what will happen next to this patient, right? So AI models can be used to analyze patient data to predict disease progression and potential complications which might happen. Suppose he's an old person above 80 and so AI can predict this is the potential thing which can happen. So doctors will be mindful before they prescribe the medicine, right? And it will guide the treatment decisions of the doctors, right? So that's where AI ML can be. The third, like I have already said to you, Remedesvir was one example. We did the drug repurposing. So what did we do? We used AI ML to identify existing drug. Okay, this is the drug. We'll test if it will be effective against a novel or emerging virus. We will uh, then accelerate its development of therapeutic options. And then we will be able to add some functional groups, repurpose it and use it in our use case. So that is where the fourth part comes now that we have okay diagnosed it. Next is how fast it is spreading because generally on social media, we say that, hey, this video went viral. Hey, this social media post went viral. But when in reality it goes viral, it is very painful. So it is very important to track how viral it is, right? So real-time monitoring. One of my friend, her name is Dr. Varsha. She is involved in this epidemiological surveillance uh, under government of Karnataka. Her company's name is Molecular Solutions. So what they were doing during the pandemic, they were going and taking the water from the sanitary drainage and that they were analyzing for virus presence and accordingly they were monitoring, right? So using AIML, this can be further made more advanced by analyzing real-time data from various sources, not just the sanitary drainage. So we could analyze social media, we could analyze news reports, we could analyze healthcare records from the hospitals, we could detect early signs of viral outbreaks anywhere in the world and we can isolate that part so that it doesn't spread to other part. Imagine we could prevent coronavirus pandemic 
if we had AIML, right? So that's the power. You have it if you learn AIML. So that is why I always say that, hey, learning AIML is very important. And as a student of biological sciences, if you are able to learn AIML, you will be able to prevent so many accidents in the future, right? By analyzing the pattern and predicting, this might happen. So predicting the out, outbreak spread is also one tool you can create, which can model the spread of viruses based on the past data. And we can identify the high-risk areas and populations aiding in resource allocation, medicine allocation and preventive measures. So we can actually help the government right? Pre save a lot of lives. So this is where ep epidemiological surveillance and outbreak prediction comes to picture. Now we come to the final part, which is the vaccine design and development and optimization. Now you all must be knowing that today, if we are sitting without a mask in front of each other, it is all thanks to the vaccines, right? So the vaccines can be developed using the weakened virus. That's the usual one. Then we had a Moderna way of using bioinformatics. We use the mRNA technology, right? But now we can use AIML to design the vaccine rapidly. We can analyze the viral genomes and identify the optimal vaccine targets and design vaccine candidates quickly. Then we can also evaluate. So once we have designed it, we can evaluate the vaccine efficiency. We can design tools which can analyze the clinical trial data to access the, how the vaccine is working, how is its efficacy, and how we can identify potential adverse effects also if it is happening, right? So it can be a big tool for FDA. And if you sell that tool to FDA, you will make billions, right? That's why I keep telling you, you can make billions from the biotech industry if you learn AI. Next one, which we have is personalized vaccine strategy. So you must have seen some people uh, said that I got a cancer because of the vaccine because it did a wrong job, right? So what if we could use AI ML to analyze individual immune responses to vaccines and tailor make the vaccination strategies for optimal protection. So these, these are the ways we can use artificial intelligence and machine learning to address the biggest challenge which humanity faces. Now my question to you is, you are combining two science here. You're combining the bio part with the IT part. That's what we call it as bio IT. You're combining virology, you're combining it with artificial intelligence and machine learning. Let me know in the comment section what more you can combine to this so that you can have a killer combination which will actually save humanity. What do you think? This science of virology, don't you think it can be enhanced further with artificial intelligence? Don't you think you can be that change maker in this industry? Don't you think you can make a lot of money and grow your career in this direction if you learn virology plus AIML? Don't you think now is the time to get started? Let me know in the comment section. And I will meet you in the next video. Till then, keep shining. Take care. Bye-bye.